Okay, Splash, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Through the groundwork and obedience that we've already laid with Splash and slowing things down a little bit, I'm going to teach you how to teach your dog threshold manners. Hey guys, Kat the dog trainer here with Splash and today we're going to talk about threshold manners which is something that people ask us about all the time and have been requesting videos forever and ever and ever so we finally are taking the time to shoot a video of that today for you. So this is an extension of impulse control which if you watched the video that Ethan did with tricks and the training treats and the, I think he had sandwich meat in his hand, um, that is how this process can start as well as we're going to utilize a doorway uh, because those are places that dogs get super excited, those transition times, those transition places of going out the door or through the backyard gate. Splash. And there's little things to distract her, so I'm just going to get her focused again. And we're going to be utilizing this doorway as our threshold, inside to outside. Those places create a lot of excitement for dogs, and we want to help them be calm and show those calm expectations in those situations. Splash. So Splash is collar conditioned to heal, and we are going to be using this doorway outside and I'm going to be starting to develop the behavior of her waiting. Then once she's showing that good, calm manners and expectations, I can introduce the cue before we're opening the door to, of wait to have her stand and wait or sit and wait while I'm opening that door. Then we can heal through that doorway together. Something that people um, tend to think happens is, oh, if I just work on this when I'm going outside to the bathroom or coming inside, that that's going to be all it takes to get your dog to the point where that they can do this behavior consistently. And that is definitely not the case. Um, you have to work on this and condition these behaviors a lot. So we're going to work on just opening and closing this door over and over until she's calmly sitting there, calmly standing there, so that we can walk through the doorway. And it may take five minutes, it may take 10 minutes, but those conditioning reps is going to be really important to develop this behavior. And it's something that you're gonna have to work on diligently and continuously to really develop this behavior um, strongly. So first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heel her back a little bit, a little footwork. We're gonna approach the door and you can see she's already ready to go out. She's looking at me, but she is excited. Um, so, splash heel. So putting her nose right up to the door to peek out, to see out. That is already a behavior that I don't really want to allow and to continue conditioning because that is her leading herself through the doorway. It's just setting her up for that. So I'd rather have her back here in a heel position. Splash, heel, heel. Creating some separation and distance between her and that door. Waiting for her to not be jumpy, looking at her body language of, oh, I'm going to get through that doorway right away. She's already doing a good job of waiting. But I need to be able to anticipate if she's going to try and get through there to close that door. And that movement of opening the door again, you saw her excitement level ramp up a little bit. So I'm going to reset her. Splash. Heel. She's leading out ahead of me, so come on. Wait. Wait. We're going to try and heal through the doorway now. Heal. 
Good. Splash. And I used my body. I don't know if you could probably see that around the door. She looked to try and go through the doorway because it was already open. And I used my leg as a way to block her so that she couldn't just go through. Splash heel. No. Heel. Heel. Wait. Splash. Heel. Wait. Wait. Heel. So Splash has done threshold manners through conditioning processes of going out for let outs and things like that. So she's already got a good understanding of this behavior. So she is showing pretty quick progress because typically I wouldn't expect to be able to utilize the cue as quickly as well as be able to move through those thresholds with as calm of behaviors and as polished of a heel as she showed. Wait. Heel. Heel. Wait. Heel. Splash. Heel. But going through doorways and things like this with your dog under control, not pulling you through the doorway, not knocking you over, or if your doorway happens to be at the top of stairs, knocking you down the stairs, is going to make getting in and out of those transition times and those transition situations a lot safer, a lot easier, and a lot more enjoyable. So we will continue conditioning these behaviors with Splash and all of our other young dogs so that the going in and coming, or going out, and coming back in process is a lot easier and smoother. I'm Kat the Dog Trainer, and we'll see you in the next video.